CFBX, or The X, turned 20 on Friday. Yeah, we launched uh, 8 a.m. on, uh, it was a Monday morning, April 2nd, 2001. Uh, the Be Good Tanya's, The Lakes of Ponchard Train was the first song. I know. That's about all I remember. Brant Wicker has been the station manager since before it even opened. Um, I, nobody's more amazed than me. I'm hired in 1998 to get this thing rolling and uh, I'm still here two decades later. Like most things here in Kamloops, it's been the community that has been the biggest supporter of the station. Back in 2005, there was a situation where a, an outside company tried to come in and they wanted to take our frequency. The city just went absolutely nuts. The, the print media went ran with it and we had over a thousand emails from the city to the CRTC complaining about you know, this, this company's coming in to take our little campus radio station. It shows overwhelming support fr from, uh, from people of all walks of life here in, in the city. Having to change because of the pandemic, Zwicker believes TRU is better with the radio station. I think it's, it, it makes it a more well-rounded uh, institution. Most universities uh, have, a, have a radio station. Uh, it threw us for a loop uh, March 18th of last year. And so we went fully automated and then volunteers really stepped up and started sending, producing at home and shipping the shows into us. So at least we had fresh programming. In its own small way, the station gives the school a larger presence. And it looks like 20 years is just the beginning. Hopefully, not with me, but <laughs> we're not an official teaching uh, arm of the university, but uh, in fact, it's a student initiative, but uh, it is very much a teaching environment. So far, it's been an amazing 20 year run. And here's to 20 more. For Castanet Kamloops, I'm Brianne Foley.